welcome to session three. Session three of the I Dare You book. This is a grey story three using the set seven sounds. And today we're going to start by thinking around our green words. Now let's have a look on page eight, I think. Or page six. Here are our story green words. These are the words that we need to be able to read using Fred in our head. And now that we're on session three, to read them a little quicker. This time, when I read the word, I'm not going to um, take my time over the special friends Fred talk, read the word. I'm going to read the word straight away. And that's what we want you to be able to do also, so that you are reading the words um, quickly and fluently. So, I will start, I will be partner one, I will read the word to you, and you read it back to me. Radar, Rob. Your turn. My turn. Cosmic, Claire. Spare. Dare. Bear. Huge. Eyes. This time it's your turn to go first. Off you go. Radar Rob. Cosmic Claire. Spare. Dare. Bear. Huge. Eyes. Well done. Your fluency is coming along nicely. Next we'll go to this section in the great story green words where the words are made of two syllables. Again this time I'm going to read the word to you and you will repeat after me. Compare. Chicken. Fanfare. Crater. Notice, nostrils, reprogram, software, repair. Now it's your turn to go first. Here we go. Compare, chicken, fanfare, crater. Notice, nostrils, reprogram, software, repair. Well done. This time, back to me going first, where we read this word, uh, this root word, and then a little bit more is added at the end, and we read that one um, at the same time. Just make sure that you can see that clearly. Off we go. Scare, scared, sprint, sprinted, declare, declared, bulge, bulging, flare, flared, peep, peeped, glare, Glad. Well done. Now it's your turn to go first. Here we go. Scare, scared. Sprint, sprinted. Declare, declared. Bulge, bulging. Flare, flared. Peep, peeped. Glare, glared. Well done. Good reading of your starry green words. Now we're going to move on to 
the red words. These are on page eight. First time we read these words going across in rows. Next time we went, read them going down. This time I'm going to read them out of order. Hope you're ready. Here we go. I'll read it first. You read after me. Two. Said. You. Does. Of. Two. Could. Your. There. You see over there. Were. Who. Your. School. All. Through. Many. Should. Was. All. Of. Great work. This time I will point and give you a few seconds to read the word before me. Here we go. Could. Said. Who. You. There. Of. Want. Does. Two. One. Was. School. All. Many. Who. Well done. Now you've read this read the green words and the red words. You're ready to read the story. You're going to read the story to yourself. Maybe to your teddy, maybe to your mummy. While I listen. And I'll point as well. Here we go. if you need more time. Let's go. if you need more time. Let's go. Pause if you need more time. Pause if you need more time. Let's go. Pause if you need more time. Let's go. Pause if you need more time.
Let's go. Pause if you need more time. Great reading. It's so good when you've built your fluency across the previous sessions, allowing you to enjoy the story and show it off using your storytelling voice. We're now going to have a think about questions around the story and how we would answer them. On this page, questions to talk about, we have the page number and that tells us exactly where to go to look for the answers. So page nine. What were Radar Rob and Cosmic Claire doing before Astro School one day? Now I need to turn back to page nine and I'm aware that this can upset the focus. So the question was, what were they doing before Astro School one day? So let's have a think and a look. Can you find what they were doing before Astro School one day? Mm, yes, I found before Astro School one day. Can you see what it was they were doing? Have you linked the idea of the ball to the kicking a space ball? Well done. They were playing ball before school, weren't they? On page 10, it's going to tell us where did Cosmic Claire have to run while she was there? Going back to page 10. Where did Cosmic Claire have to run while she was there? Now, I can see the word bear. Can you find where she had to run? Can you see the word run here? Well done, did you find Astro School? Run round the Astro School. Well done, that's the answer to your question. Page 11. What did Cosmic Claire call Radar Rob when he didn't want to do the dare? Now, this is on page 11. I think I remember this. What did Cosmic Claire call him when he didn't want to do the dare? Um, now, there's lots of talking on this page. Can you find the right part of the speech? Mm, there's something Claire said. Are you looking down here? What was it she said? That's right, she called him a chicken. She was calling him a coward. He didn't like it, and it meant he did the dare. Page 12. How many things did Cosmic Claire have to do at once? How many things? Page 12. Let's look. How many things did Cosmic Claire have to do on page 12? Can you find the section? Can you count them up? The section is here. Let's count. She had to stand on a chair, play a fanfare, so that's two things, and the fanfare was on her rocket boosted trumpet. So one, two, throwing her space hat in the air at the same time. So stand on a chair, play the fanfare on a trumpet and throw her space hat in the air. Did you count three? I counted three too. Or three also, might be a helpful way of saying it. Here we go. Next question. Page 13. What did the notice pinned to the crater say? Let's look for the notice pinned to the crater. That's right. Here's the crater. Here's the notice. What does it say? Well, good. Uh, well, well read. Beware of the robo dog. Well done. Thank you. Next question. Just make sure that the um, focus has worked again. Page 14. How was Rob injured when he came out of the crater? How was Rob injured? What was wrong with Rob on page 14? Let's look. Poor oh, Rob. Okay. I think there are three things you might pick up on here. He was injured because something was wrong. Some information here. What does it say here about his injury? 
And that's right, if you found this word big hole, you can see the big hole as well. There's a big hole and that's the main injury. It made his chest make a ticking sound. You might also have remembered that his six yellow legs were a bit bent and that's an injury when something is wrong too. I think we've got one more question to do. Page 15. Why do you think Rob didn't want to play any more games of I Dare You? Hmm. Why do you think he didn't want to play any more games of I Dare You? You're absolutely right. Yes, have you found it? Yeah. He's got to reprogram all his software. He got hurt. He wants to make friends with Claire now. He's sharing his star bow with her. Oh no, Claire wanted to share her star bow with him. She was making friends with him. He got hurt. He got hurt and that's why he didn't want to play the game I Dare You anymore. Great work. Now we're going to have a think about questions to read and answer. So here it says, number one, why can it be boring in space? Why do you think it might be boring in space? Where might you want to look in the story to find the answers to that question? Yeah, I think you're right. I think we need to go right back to the beginning. Back to the beginning of the story part of the book. And it tells us in that first line why it can get boring in space. Have you found it? There's a lot of spare time in space. And that's the answer to that question. Two, what is Rob's first dare to Claire? Now, I think you'll probably remember, but we do need to go back and find it in the book too. So let's go back. Rob's first dare. Okay, so I've gone to the next page in the story part of the book. And his first dare, have you found it? Yeah, here. To peel off her green skin and run around the Astro School bare. We've got this image of a very bare Claire looking all bare. Next question. Why does Rob say Claire's dare is not fair? Hmm. Which dare was this about? Let's look back. We've gone past the very beginning of the story. We've gone past the green skin dare. Oh, here I think I can see Rob is saying that's not fair. He's saying it here, hasn't he? That's not fair, said Rob. You can't compare that with running around the Astro School there. Claire has dared Rob to climb the radar mast. And he knows that that's dangerous. Next question. Next question is number four. What does the robo dog look like? I can't remember this detail, so I need to find the page with the robo dog. Let's go back and find the page with the robo dog. Uh, that's the trumpet page. Here's the robo dog. Um, ooh, ooh. It tells us lots of things about what he looks like. He has two huge hairy paws, two huge bulging yellow eyes, and two red nostrils flaring. Oh, I think he looks quite scary, doesn't he? Number five. Why do you think giving dares is not a good thing? Mm. Yes, I can hear lots of good reasons already. The end of the story is where Rob says that he's not going to play this game with Claire anymore. And it's after Rob's really got hurt. The problem with the game, I dare you, is things can get out of hand and people can get hurt. And sometimes people hurt other people's feelings. And being adventurous in this way often includes not thinking carefully and making good decisions. And for all of those reasons, I dare you is not a game I like. That's where session three finishes today. Uh, boys and girls, keep reading. If there are parts of it that you found um, a little bit um, more tricky, just because we've done the three reading videos doesn't mean that you um, 
don't have to read the book again. You're more than welcome to enjoy that story and to practice the things that you enjoyed or to practice the things that you found a little bit tricky. The more you read, the better you will become. Well done.